welcome back to another video here on the YouTube. And welcome to another installment in the What I've Been Listening To series. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the past month of May 2021. So, without further ado, let's hop right on in. So, for anyone that's not seen any of the past videos in this series, what I do is I go over to my Spotify stats and I take my 10 most listened songs and my 10 most listened artists and I talk about them here on the YouTube. We're going to talk songs first, go for my number one most listened to my 10th most listened in the past month of May of 2021. So, my most listened song is a To My Leonard Skinner, which is a top three band for me. Really love some Skinner. And it is Give Me Free Steps. Currently learned this on guitar, and actually yesterday of this video going up, I put a reel up of some of the rhythm parts on Give Me Free Steps, because I learned how to play the full song rhythm guitar. Haven't learned the solos yet, but I will get to that pretty soon, so I've been jamming to this on guitar a lot. Real fun, rocking to the jam out on guitar, and just listen to it in general, because it's a real fun song, and always been one of my favorites by them, so... Give Me Free Steps is the first one, and my second most listened song is a tune by Eddie Rabbit, and that is I Love a Rainy Night. As y'all know, I'm not a huge fan of country music, but I've always really dug this tune quite a bit, and Eddie Rabbit's always been one of my more favorite country artists, even though I'm not just a huge, huge fan of him. But I do like a lot of his hits, including this one, and this song was actually one of the songs that got me into playing guitar because of the wicked guitar solo in the middle of it. And actually, all the guitar parts are pretty fun to play on guitar in general. And the third most listened song is another tune by Liam Skinner, and that is I Ain't The One. Another really fun song to jam out to. Always been one of my favorites. It's the opening track for their debut album, Pronounced Leonard Skinner. It has some really cool guitar parts, really cool vocals from Ronnie Van Zandt. Everything you want from Skinner it is in that song. So definitely a kick and tune to check out. And my fourth most listened song is Separate Ways, Worlds Apart by Journey. I've been on a massive journey kick lately, and this is absolutely my favorite journey tune of all time. Real fun song to jam out to in St. Alon. Cool guitar solo in it, wicked vocal melody and chorus. One of my favorite choruses of all time, so definitely a kick in tune. And my fifth most listened tune is probably my favorite song by Mammoth WVH. It's either this one or Distance, but this one is Think It Over. I believe it's the only carryover from last month, but I'm not 100% sure. I've always really dug this tune a lot ever since I first heard it um, a few months ago when he released it. Real fun song to jam out to and rock out to. A lot of these songs are real fun, jam out songs if that makes any sense really love the chorus really love the vocal melody and the vocal performance by wolfgang van halen definitely check out mammoth wvh if you haven't because he has an album dropping neck or actually this month in june sometime i believe june 16 something like that and i have high hopes it'll be a pretty good one because all the singles he's released so far all six of them are really wicked and the sixth one my most listened song is another country tune, and that is Mama Tried by Merle Haggard. Um, I'm not a huge, huge Merle Haggard fan, but I really dig this song quite a bit. I've always ha dug it. God introduced it um, from the movie The Strangers, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, so that's where I got the song from. And I'm currently going to start learning it on guitar because it is a fun song um, to play the chords. I've learned the chords so far, and it's pretty fun so far. J just a fun country song to jam out to. And my seventh most listened song is Stargazer by Mother Love, but another artist I've been listening to a lot in the past month of May. They're just a super underrated grunge band that is awesome at the same time. If you see my grunge band's here list video, you know I rank them in the A tier, and they are my absolute favorite grunge band. So definitely check them out if you like grunge, especially this song, Stargazer, which is my seventh most listened to, or my seventh most listened song of the past month probably my favorite song by them besides crown of thorns they have a lot of really good tunes off their one album apple so motor love them definitely check them out if you like grunge because you'll probably dig them quite a bit especially if you like pearl gem because it's a bunch of the members from pearl gem before they actually for form pearl gem so that's a fun little fact and my eighth most listened tune is another tune by journey and that is faithfully i'm one of their more popular ballads a lot of people are sick and tired of hearing this song because it is played a lot but i haven't heard all these journey songs as much as other people have, but I will say Don't Stop Believing is very overplayed and one of my least favorite rock songs, but I really love Faithfully. Really love the vocal performance from Steve Perry on it. It's a really kicking um, vocal performance and one of my favorites. A really cool piano. Some of my favorite piano parts in a rock song, so definitely a good tune. And my ninth most listened tune is another 80 rabbit tune, and that is Driving My Life Away. My second favorite song, Easily Behind I Love a Rating 9. Another one I want to learn on guitar because it seems pretty fun to jam out to. 
And my 10th um, most listened song, the last one I'm going to talk about, is another Journey song. That is Lats. Probably my favorite ballad by them, although um, Faithfully is a little bit higher, but not by much. Only two spots. Lights is a cool song off the Infinity album, which is definitely a top two or three album for me from the band. I really love a lot of the tunes on there, and this is easily my favorite. Favorite, favorite thing about this song for me personally is the guitar solo. I don't know the guitar player's name, but he's a really good guitar player. One of my favorites from that era after listening to Journey on repeat for the past month because he has a lot of really wicked riffs and guitar parts and guitar solos, especially the solo in this one. So, those are my 10 most listened songs for the past month of May. We have Give Me Free Steps, Laren Skinner, I Love a Rainy Night by Eddie Rabbit, I Ain't the One by Laren Skinner, Separate Ways by Journey, Think It Over, Man with WVH, Mom and Tribe by Merle Haggard, Stargazer, Mother Love Bone, Faithfully by Journey, Driving My Life Away by Eddie Rabbit, and Lights by Journey. So with all the songs out of the way, we're going to move to my 10 most listened artists of the past month of May 2021. So let's get to that. Alright, so now we are at artists. It's not as diverse in terms of newer stuff. There's quite a bit of carryovers from last month, but that's alright, because I really love all of these artists that are mentioned in these top 10. And my number one um, most listened artist is Leonard Skinner. I pretty much expected it because I've been on a Skinner um, rampage, I guess if you want to call it. I've been listening to a lot of Leonard Skinner more than anything in like the past few months this year so far. So they might end up being uh, my number one most listened artist of the year. Who knows? But Leonard Skinner is a top three favorite band for me. Really love a lot of their stuff and a lot of their albums. So definitely a good Southern Rock band. Definitely check out. I think they're the quintessential southern rock band and easily the greatest from that genre. And classic rock in general. Definitely a top 10 band for classic rock. Really love a lot of their stuff. And my second is Journey. Um, as I said in the songs, I've been on a massive Journey kick. I like quite a bit of their 80s and 70s stuff. I haven't listened to any of their newer stuff, the 90s and beyond. But from what I hear, their 80s and 70s stuff is the best stuff by them, and I wouldn't doubt that. Really like the Frontiers, the Infinity, and the Parcher album more than anything. Although Escape and a bunch of their other albums are also really, really good. I um, really love all that 70s and 80s stuff, and they've been one of my favorite bands for the past month, like I just said. So definitely a kicking class classic rock band. And my third favorite band is my favorite band of all time, which is Anathema. Uh, in the past few months, they've always been number one, except for February. I think they were beat out by CCR then, but I'm not too sure. But they took a back seat to Learn Skinner and Journey, but that doesn't mean I don't listen to them a lot, because I do listen to them quite a bit. I like a lot about them, and I talk about them a whole lot, so I'll just leave it at that. Definitely check them out if you haven't, because they're a super underrated band. As well as this next artist as a super underrated band, and that is Mother Love Bone. I'm one of the best grunge bands in my opinion. I talked about them when I talk about songs, but I'll keep it short. Just check them out if you like grunge, especially Pearl Jam, like I was saying when I was talking about Scar Stargazer, because I think you'll really dig them. Even if you don't like Pearl Jam and like grunge in general, they're definitely worth a listen, because they are one of the most influential and impactful um, bands on the scene. People say I like the Melvins and Nirvana and stuff, but I think they beat them by a bunch of miles, in my opinion. Really digs some mother love, though. My fifth most listened artist is another top three favorite artist for me, and that is Johnny Cash. I love a lot of his albums and a lot of his stuff. My favorites being Apples in Prison and Out Among the Stars and the American Four album. like a lot of albums, old and new. I definitely like close to 100 songs by the by Johnny Cash, and um, that's a lot more than a lot of other my favorite bands, even Leonard Skinner and Anathema. I think it's just above 50 songs by them, or probably even more. I don't know how many songs they have, probably a lot more than that, but... Johnny Cash is definitely the artist I like the most songs by. He was the first artist I ever got into back in the third grade, so I've been listening to him for years and years and never really get tired of his stuff. So definitely check him out if you have not He's definitely my favorite country artist. And my sixth most listened artist is another country artist, and that is Eddie Rabbit. I dig a lot of his stuff. A lot of his more hits are my favorites. But my favorite album um, would probably be the greatest hit set because those are all my favorite tunes on there. But the Horizons album from 1980... With I Love a Rainy Night and Driving My Life Away is also a really good album. One of my more favorite country albums. And my seven most listened artist is Kansas. Easily one of my favorite progressive rock bands. Definitely top three with Anathema. And I don't know who would be in my third. Maybe Rush or Pink Floyd or something like that. But Kansas is definitely a really cool prog band. I love a lot of their albums like Left Overture and Point of No Return. And The Absence of Presence, their newest album from 2020. A lot of really good stuff in their discography. Definitely check them out if you haven't. 
And my eighth most listened artist is Fleetwood Mac. I love a lot of their tunes. Some of my favorite tunes by Fleetwood Mac are some of my favorite songs in general, like Songbird and The Chain and Landslide and Secondhand News. My two favorite albums with them would be the self-titled album from 75 and Rumors from 77, which are their two most popular albums. And listening to them and listening to the rest of their discography, I can definitely see why, because those are some standout, really classic albums right there. And my nap most listened artist, I'm a little shocked he's out a little bit higher than some of these bands like Kansas and Fleetwood Mac that don't have any songs in the top 10, and that's Mammoth WBH. If y'all don't know, he is the son of Eddie Van Halen, so if you like Van Halen, definitely check him out because he's a um, really talented kid. He has six singles released out so far as his video goes up, and every single one of them are awesome, and I have high hopes his album coming out in June will be a kicking one, so definitely keep note of that. And number 10 is conveniently Van Halen. Really, really love Van Halen. I'm a big fan of a lot of their stuff. I love the David Lee Roth era, the Sammy Hagar era. I really love a lot of their stuff, except like Van Halen Free, of course, which is my, which is probably their worst album. But a lot of their albums are classics. My favorite being the first one um, from 1978, the debut album. Really love that start to finish. And my other two favorite albums would probably be Fair Warning and Van Halen too. But I like a lot of their other albums, especially in the Sammy Hagar. Really love 5150 and stuff like that. Some really good stuff right there. So those are going to be my 10 most listened artists of the past month of May 2021. Leonard Skinner, The Journey, Anathema, Mother Love Bone, Johnny Cash, Eddie Rabbit, Kansas, Fleetwood Mac, Mammoth WVH, and Van Halen. So I gave y'all my 10 most listened songs and artists of the past month of May. Y'all be sure to let me know down in the comments below what y'all have been listening to in the past month of May 2021 with songs and artists. I would be very interested to hear y'all's thoughts on this whole subject. So I do hope y'all enjoyed this video here on the YouTube. And if you did and some of my other videos, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I've got a lot more planning coming up. And make sure to hit the little bell notification by Bob Ruffini so you can notified every time I put a video out. Um, you can follow me over on the Instagram and the Spotify. Both will be linked down below in the description of this video. Got a lot going on over there. As well, linked down below will be the playlist for the series, the one I've been listening to on the series. And if you haven't seen any of the other videos and enjoyed this one, go back and watch the ones for February, March, and April. Because those were just as good as this video, if not better. So you'll definitely enjoy those if you enjoyed this video. So, with all out of the way, that will all be linked down below if you wish to check any of that out. And once you're done watching this video, blast your favorite band that you've been listening to in the past month of May. And once you're done doing that, go out and kick some ass! Woo!